What happened in the economy this week? A mixed bag of good and bad, all leading to a lot of uncertainty. Let's take a look. Before we begin, remember to like this video and subscribe for more economic updates. On Monday, the National Association of Home Builders, NAHB, reported that its November housing market index rose by three points to 46, significantly outperforming expectations. Economists had predicted a one-point drop from October's reading of 43. NAHB Chairman Carl Harris attributed the surge in builder optimism to the recent Republican election victory, stating, With the elections now in the rearview mirror, builders are expressing increasing confidence that Republicans gaining all the levers of power in Washington will result in significant regulatory relief for the industry that will lead to the construction of more homes and apartments. Despite the uptick, the index remains below 50, indicating that most builders still view market conditions as poor rather than good. Contrasting this optimism, the Census Bureau reported on Tuesday that housing starts fell for the second straight month in October, dropping 3.1% to an annual rate of 1.31 million units. This decline was steeper than the expected drop to 1.33 million units. Single-family housing starts fell even more sharply, down 6.9% to 970,000 units, especially in the South due to Hurricanes Helene and Milton. Persistently high mortgage rates continue to impede better numbers. Recent Federal Reserve rate cuts have yet to lower loan rates, and analysts expect this will continue to hurt affordability in the foreseeable future. Adding some positive news, the National Association of Realtors reported on Thursday that existing home sales rose 2.9% year-over-year in October, the first annual increase in over three years. Monthly sales climbed 3.4% to an annual rate of 3.96 million units, beating economists' forecast of 3.93 million. Analysts credit this uptick to a brief period of better mortgage rates and increased inventory. However, sales remain below the historical average of 4 million, and with mortgage rates rising again, economists are not optimistic about the sustained improvement. In other news, the conference board reported on Thursday that its leading economic index, LEI, fell 0.4% in October to 99.5% the lowest since March 2016. This marks a continuous decline since the board abandoned its recession prediction in February. Manufacturing was notably weak, with new orders declining in 11 of 14 industries and manufacturing hours worked falling by the largest amount since December 2023. Lastly, S&P Global released better-than-expected preliminary figures for November's Purchasing Managers Indexes, PMIs, on Friday. They announced that services PMI rose to 57, a 32-month high and two points above both October's reading and the consensus estimate. The manufacturing PMI remained in contraction territory below 50, but improved to 48.8 from October's 48.5, exceeding the projected 48. As of this month, manufacturing PMI is at its highest level since July. That's it for this week. Like I said, a mixed bag. The general theme is uncertainty. This is Devlin Steele for Augusta Precious Metals, signing out.